Hi everyone, it's Dr. Frank again. Uh, today I want to talk to you about one of my favorite um, operations, breast augmentation. A lot of you had sent in some uh, very good and sort of thoughtful questions that I thought it was a good time for another Q&A. Now one of the most popular questions is how do I choose you know, my implant size? And contrary to the belief that you know, a certain amount of CCs equates to a certain cup size, the most, two most important factors are one, your anatomy, uh, and in particular, your chest or breast width, and the other thing is sort of your expectations and your desires. And you sort of, between those two, you find the sweet spot, and that will ultimately determine your size. Will my nipple sensation change after breast augmentation surgery? Now, every time you do breast surgery, there's a chance that the uh, sensation afterwards of the breast is slightly altered, especially if the incision is going around the areola or the nipple. Now, uh, I prefer going at the bottom of the breast, so the risk of that is slightly uh, lowered. Now, even if you have some uh, you know, alteration in sensation, that should get better within uh, just a few weeks, and definitely within the first six months after surgery. When can I return uh, back to work after breast augmentation? Uh, as I mentioned before, the recovery is pretty quick in terms of pain really just for one or two days. And afterwards, depending on what you do for a living, uh, you should be able to return to work pretty immediately. Now again, if your work includes heavy lifting or sort of strong exercise, you've got to wait a little bit, uh, you know, two to four weeks, depending uh, you know, how, how involved that is. But uh, otherwise, uh, not much in terms of restrictions. Uh, where will the incision be or the scar be and where do you place the breast implant? You know, there are two ways of placing the breast implant. One is sort of going directly underneath the breast tissue and the other is sort of going partly underneath the muscle. I prefer going underneath the muscle because I believe it gives you a better contour and the upper pole an overall shape and feel to the breast. Uh, especially if you know you have sort of thinner skin and you know thin breast tissue, uh, putting the implant directly underneath the, the breast gland will just show the implant and it will give you a very unnatural look. And then there's also some evidence that shows that the capsular contracture rate where this sort of the body forming a stiff capsule in the, uh, the implant is decreased if you place it underneath the muscle. Post-operative instructions uh, following breast augmentation. Now, uh, pain should be really li limited and very minimal. So Tylenol and Motrin is usually what I recommend for patients, and it's rare that patients need it more than two or three days. Uh, we will go over some arm exercises that I want everyone to do right after surgery, so like lift the arms up and bring the hands together, and do that a few times sort of throughout the days and starting immediately after surgery, just to kind of prevent scar tissue from forming uh, over the implant. You can shower uh, right after surgery first day. There'll be an occlusive pressing over the incision, which will just stay in place, can get wet, and we'll change it uh, on the first post-operative visit. And in terms of support, uh, we recommend just wearing a sports bra, something that doesn't have an underwire that potentially will press on the incision, but at the same time feels comfortable. How long does an you know, average augmentation surgery uh, take? Usual operation time is anywhere between, I would say, 45 to maybe 60 minutes. Um, unless you have, you know, severe asymmetry or sort of, you know, it's a revision surgery that might be more extensive and the time will take a little bit longer. But if it's a first time case, it really should just take uh, about an hour. Can I get mammograms with breast implants? The answer is yes. There's a special view with um, mammography that every like radiologist knows that will displace the breast implant sort of posteriorly and will actually pull the breast tissue forward. Now, if you have the breast implant underneath the muscle, you have an additional anatomical layer sort of right in between your breast tissue and the breast implant that will help to sort of separate each from each other. Can I breastfeed after breast augmentation? The answer is yes. Uh, again, whenever there is an incision around the nipple um, or the areola, there is a chance that some of the milk ducts get separated and that the sort of amount of lactation might be sort of altered or changed. But in general, studies and evidence have shown that women who underwent breast augmentation have the sort of same ability as women who did not to uh, breastfeed. I hope that I answered most of the questions. Uh, again, don't hesitate if you have, you know think of anything else uh, just to write us or write me, uh, DM us. Um, it was a pleasure talking to you and I'll be back with more.